in all these scenarios, what you have to realize is just by showing this thing and comparing it to the pictures that I showed you, it's very difficult for somebody to say that, OK, you know, OK, these are incidents that does not seem to have any big picture problem, right? So wh why should I care? Coffee beans, OK, I will, I will, I will drink tea, right? Or uh, forests are going down, that's fine. We will reforest it, right? The question is, I think what I would like to ask this community is, and being the data science and data-driven community, are we getting to a point where we need to create, a, think about a new document area which is more data-driven, right? Now, when I say that, I can, I'm going to share two videos of what I think community and members like you can help to tell the success stories. So what you are looking at there is the plot of the temperature change that has happened almost, almost a century, right? And the power of this visualization is just by looking at that visualization, most of us will agree on the fact that the temperature of the globe has gone up on the average in the last 100 years, and it has almost gone up to 1.5 degrees, right? Same thing, NASA has the information, NOAA has the information, but the person who did the visualization took the data and presented in a way that is easy for anybody to understand. This is another animation that I took from NASA where it shows how the Arctic ice has shifted over the course of, I think, 60 years. And you can see that just by watching the video, when it gets to 2012, it has shrunk. Right? So I think as a public sector servant, my request and my ask for the community is, I would encourage you guys to start looking at the data that we have and start thinking about how can we tell the story in a fashion that will help us as a, as a planet and as a, as a species to tell what is happening to us now and what should we do to prevent it.